All right, guys, here we are. We're going to have the second attempt at the breaking par series. We're at Oakmont Country Club. Once again, playing the front nine. Let's see if we can do it. Going out with a new golf ball. Got the Tour BX from Bridgestone today. Also wearing my new Squares golf shoes. Let's see if they make a difference. Stop. Be all right. Let's cut across that one. Lost us in a little right, but I am in the short grass, so not a bad angle either. Front pin location, 120, 121. So I don't want to be short here, so I'm going to go long. Probably hit my gap wedge off the winds a little off the left, a little into me. Now, if these are supposed to be longer, is, are, are all my clubs going to be a little longer? I'm going to aim just left of the flag, let it kind of drift back if it goes anyway. 50 degree, probably just going to hit it full. I'm 121, a little into the breeze. Got to go a little. Yep, short. Hit it off the toe. Starting out exactly like last time. Short right on my approach. See if I can get up and down. Last time I hit just in the fringe and it checked. So we're going to try and... This one's going to land in the fringe. I'm going to make it land in the fringe and release just a little. And again, he leaves it short. Should be up the hill just a little bit right to left. Ooh, snuck out a par there. Much better putt than last time. Last time we left it short. I almost left it short there, but we trickled in. We're even through one. Number two, par four, 352. Little dog leg to the right. Take it up over these hills on the right. No draw. Right is okay. Leaking a little bit. Should be okay, though. 55 yards, you can see I'm just off the edge of the fairway here, but I got a big bunker in front, not a lot of room. Here's what I'm doing. 55 yards to the actual pin. Now I'm zapping the top of that bunker, 39 yards. So I know I have to carry this at least 40 yards to carry that bunker. So my number is probably like 45 instead of 55. That way I land short and it'll release just a little bit because you're not gonna get a lot of spin on something short like this. So aim, I know because I've previously played this course, it's going to break left once it gets on the, on the green. So I'm going to aim a little bit right of the flag stick. And my number is 45, sitting up nicely. Just don't get cute. You'd rather be long and just off the back of the green and have a putt than short in the bunker. Like that. did exactly what I told you not to do. I got cute and I left it in the bunker. So I've got my 58 degree. Of course, I'm half plugged over here. So now my goal is just to get it out. It's on the uphill. It's going to help it. I'm going to hit about an inch and a half behind the ball. I'm going to square the face up just a little, put the ball back just a little bit back in my stance and try and hack this out of here. All right, we got to put it par. Probably six or eight feet. This one's going to break just a little bit to the right. Nice little sand save start off here. One, two, since we royally screwed up that first approach shot. Got your line, trust it. Get your speed right. Good par. Ended up saving par there. Decent little bunker shot. Made the putt, but that was a birdie opportunity that I squandered because exactly like I told you not to do. Got cute, left it short in the bunker. It's all right, next hole. Par five, number three. Par five, number three. Let's see if we can get one down there. Maybe get there in two. 
gonna try and cut the corner just a little and just a little bit right, hopefully with a little draw. As I'm sitting here, I can feel the wind behind me blowing left to right, so I'm not gonna aim as far right. Aim a little bit more left than I was planning to because the wind might push it right and we got danger right. Cut some more. Should be okay, I think. We got 224 to the flag stick. The bunker right in front. 202 to clear. A little bit downwind. 202 to clear. I may go five iron here and just try and just clear that bunker. Wind's a little off the left, but a little down. Got a little bit of a downhill lie. Got to stay down on it. A little more loft should help. All right, let's see if it's a good one. Ah, get it off the toe. It's going to be in the bunker. <sighs> Didn't hit it good. But on the upslope. Got some gr green to work with here. So I've got a 54 degree rather than my 58 because I'm going to want it to hit and then kind of release. So it's a little bit less loft. I'm going to square the face up just a little bit. Got a perfect lie in here. Looks like it's going to break to the right. So I'm going to aim left of the flag stick here. And just try and land this on the green and let it release out to the hole. Let's see what we got. Digging my feet in. I'm going to keep my body, my lower body, nice and quiet. Uh, not great, but we're putting. Didn't quite release, didn't quite hit it as like as, as good as I'd like. But we'll take it. It's up the hill, left to right. Let's line this puppy up. See if we can get another sandy here. Don't leave it short. Speed is key. Get your line, trust it. Now work on just getting it there. That was in the heart. Ah! 196 to this flag. Quite a bit different than last time. We're into the wind this time. Front pin location. About 192 to the actual front of the green. So I've got five iron. And I'm actually going to try and flight this a little down into this wind which typically draws. So I'm going to aim just a little bit right of the flag stick and we'll see what happens here. I heard that driver and for some reason it bugged me and I didn't back off. That is way right. That was a mistake on my part. Guys in front of us teed off and they had some weird sounding driver and I heard it. And it took my mind off of my golf shot. I didn't stop like I should have and I tried to hit the shot and Obviously you saw the results. So now par is gonna be an absolute chore. Let's see if we can get par out of here. Um, at this point, bogey looks more likely. My ball is embedded here. I'm gonna show you the rule and you mark the ball, you can lift. At that point, you can clean it. If you have a towel on you, you can clean it. And then you drop it from the knee, nearest point of relief within one club length. So we're just gonna drop it right in there. Now we're back in play. It's not going to be an easy up and down. We do not have a lot of green to work. Best case scenario here is get it on the green, give itself a shot at par. But at this point, we're going to take the, we're going to take a bogey, most likely. Don't get cute and leave this one short either. Well, we may have hit a golf shot there. Let's go check it out. 
just get your bogey and get out of here. Now, we got a shot at saving our par. We'll take that par, boys, after a incredible par save. On the number four, we birdied this one last time. It is the number one handicap, though. 393, I believe. Par four. Bunker's right in the landing zone. We're going to try and draw it right off of there, just like we did last time. Wind's behind us, a little off the left. Let's hit us a good one. We're about to see if we can clear the bunker. Didn't see it, but it did not draw, so we're right at it. All right, guys, we cleared the bunker. Surprisingly enough, that was a 270 carry. That's ridiculous. Hot in my shoes. We got 101. Wind's off the left, maybe a little helping. I'm gonna get my 54 degree. Make sure I got clean grooves. I'm gonna play it right at 100 because if it lands on the green, we're probably gonna get some spin. So, right at 100. Don't wanna be short. I'm gonna aim just a little left of it because the wind's just off the left. So I'm gonna aim right at the right edge of that bunker. See if we can hit us a good one. 101 is our number. Right at it. That's a pretty good one here. We got a chance at birdie. Pretty good chance. A little down the hill, a little right to left. Go. Dude, what are you doing? Babying it over there. That was awful. Well, guys, missed opportunity there. Didn't hit it, but it didn't break either. I hit the putt a couple more times, and it just doesn't break like I thought it would, so I missed it either way, but not great speed. Biggest thing is you got to stay patient. You keep hitting it that close, sooner or later one's going to fall. Number six, par five, 567. But playing downhill, or uphill, downwind so let's see if we can't hit us a good drive maybe give us the opportunity to get up there close and two get us a birdie going to seven little left but i hit it good should be okay not an ideal position but if we can determine that this is an anthill I would get relief. And there are ants. This is definitely an anthill, so I will get relief from this position. Yep, most definitely an anthill. So you mark the ball, you pick it up, and you get a club length no closer to the hole. Just to show you I'm not lying, there is all the ants from where I stepped on it. Definitely an anthill. You get one club length, get your driver out. One club length, no closer to the hole. So you mark that here. Now you have to drop within that mark. So I'm going to drop as far as I can out this way. You can come back this way as well. So let's drop it right in here. All right, we're in play. Now do I have a swing? I still don't really have a swing, so I'm not going to be able to go at this in two. Didn't get much relief, but we're not on this anthill here. So let's see, choke down. I'm going to close my stance off, have the club face pointed down the fairway. And I'm going to try and punch one down there as far as it'll go. Try not to break my club, hitting this tree behind me. All right, that should be good. I hit the tree, but I didn't hit it hard. Downwind, up the hill, 103. Same shot I just had that I put within five feet that I missed the putt. Let's do that again, except let's make a putt. So let's just hit it right around 100 again. The uphill will take out the wind, so it's on that back level as well. Let's hit this a good one. 100 yards. 
That's our number. Looks good, a little bit right. Well guys, I got uh, hurt by my own spin. There's my pitch mark. There's the hole. There's my ball way right back there in the middle. Terrible. Not the easiest of birdie putts. Up the hill, got a slope right in the middle of it. It's gonna break a little to my left, but not much. Speed is key. Let's get it up there. The left. It did not. We'll take on the par. It's on the par train. Pretty gettable par four. Pretty open. Trying to hit a little draw down there. Aim at that little lone tree on the right. Wind should be off my right. It should push everything back to the left. I like that. Sitting on the left side here, the fairway. Front pin. Wind's off the right. We got 107. Again, right in that same little zone of where we've been. Just a little bit more club. Still going to go with my 54. Swing a little bit harder on this one because it's a front pin. I, there's a lot of room behind the hole. So I'm going to play this one like. 110 even maybe even 112 or so see if i can't land past it since that last one sucked back so hard i'm gonna aim a little bit right of the pin because the wind is off the right let's see if we can get close get us a birdie stay right there it's going a little left on me should be putting though Perfectly pin high, just a little left. I pulled it just a hair, started out right at the pin, and it went left on me. I was aiming a little right at the pin, so not a bad miss, though. We're just about a yard, not even a yard off the green. Downhill, left to righter. Hit the ball. Hit the ball. Cannot believe that. The missed opportunity going to eight with seven straight pars so if i can birdie one of the last two we will break par and succeed at our goal let's see if we can do it number eight par three wind is off the right uphill back pin 176 i got seven iron i'm gonna aim probably at that black tarp Maybe just left of it between that and the tree up there. Get a little draw in there. Come on, wind! Didn't turn over. Just missed it. I mean, we are two inches off the green. Uphill, downhill, uphill kind of thing. Gonna break right to left the whole way, I believe. Biggest thing here is speed. Probably not gonna make this one, so you just go up, make sure you got good speed. There we gotta tap in for par. Go and go left. <sighs> Look, that's just a little bit of a tester. Be fairly straight up the hill, right to left. Should just be right edge. Thanks. So we got eight straight pars. Let's come down to this. The ninth hole. If I birdie, we break par. Let's go get it. Come down to this. Par four. Got to clear that bunker, I think, to have a chance at birdie. We're going to go after it. Birdie here and we break par. Hang on. <laughs> hard I hit provisional because that one went way left it could be OB that's what happens when you try and swing too hard better still left we ended up finding my first one here's the second one I already went and picked it up 
it hit one of these trees, I guess, and kicked down. We don't have the best of shots here. We got to mess with this tree up to our left, but still a shot. Let's see if we can birdie. And looks to be all the way in the back. 160 still. You can tell it hit something. 160, 159. Wind is a little down. I think we're going to hit a 9-iron. We don't want to go long is the thing. So if I hit 8-iron, 159, if it's on the back of the green. If you go long, you're dead. So short, we got to putt at it. I don't think I can hit this past 160, 165. Let's hit this one close. Let's get us a birdie. Let's get out of here. Ah, flared it. Stay there. Leaking right. And short. Not ideal. Did not hit a good one here. It hit. Actually, here's my pitch mark. Chip in for our birdie. I do chip in quite a bit today. Should chip. Check. Check. In release, I got a 54 degree closed stance, ball back, aim just right of the pin here. Go! I chunked that, guys. Absolutely chunked it. Now we're struggling to save par. Not the best effort. But let's make us a putt. Keep our par streak alive. Break! How did that not break? It stopped breaking. God, we put a good putt on that one. Well, guys, we didn't break par this time. I actually ended up bogeying because I was pressing. But one over is not too bad. Uh, stay tuned. Next time we'll try for attempt number three at breaking par.